Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'll be sharing four ideas for easy and delicious breakfast with you. Now, to be completely honest, we don't eat breakfast every day, but we are trying to get better. So I'm hoping that creating these videos will not only inspire you with some breakfast ideas, but will also help me to be more consistent about eating breakfast. So if you'd like some breakfast ideas, just keep watching. First up, I'm making breakfast burritos. This is one of my husband's favorite breakfasts. In fact, every time he goes to McDonald's, he gets their breakfast burritos. He loves them in the morning. I don't follow a real recipe when I make these. I'll try to find one and link it in the description box below, but they're really easy. Here's what I use to make them. First up, I've got eggs. Then you'll need some sort of tortilla. I'm using the burrito size today. Sometimes I use the smaller taco size. It just depends what I've got on hand. I also have some of this fresh cilantro salsa that I got from Sam's Club, so I'm going to use that. I have some sharp cheddar cheese. You could use your favorite cheese or whatever you've got on hand. And then I like to season my scrambled eggs with Tony Saturies. I have a little bit of this Taco Bell uh, Baja sauce left over and I want to use that up so I'm going to add that and then for the breakfast burritos I have some of this pre-cooked bacon you just pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds so I'm going to use that really you could use whatever you've got you could use diced ham sausage you could skip the meat all together and sometimes if I have like leftover potatoes or leftover potatoes and onions or bell peppers I'll toss that in uh, sometimes I'll take a few tater tots or like a hash brown patty pop that into the air fryer while while my eggs are cooking and then put that in kind of like a supersonic breakfast burrito if you're familiar with Sonic's breakfast burritos but this is what I'm using today but feel free to customize it and use whatever you've got on hand or whatever you like I'll show you real quick how I like to make my scrambled eggs but if you have a favorite way that you make scrambled eggs make it that way I like to crack my eggs into a bowl and then I add just a little splash of milk. You don't have to add that at all. Sometimes I'll add almond milk. I know other people uh, like to add sour cream, so add whatever you like. And then I like to season the eggs up with some of the Tony Saturies and some salt and pepper. And then to whisk the eggs together, I like to use a fork. I just feel like the egg yolks break up faster and easier with a fork than a whisk. But I just whisk those up really well and make sure to get quite a bit of air into them. And then we're ready to cook them up. So I've got my skillet here. I'm going to turn it on medium heat. With eggs, really, the slower you cook them, the better. And with eggs, I mean... Look, like I said, there's no egg police that are going to bust into your house and yell at you if you get your eggs brown. But really with scrambled eggs, it's best if there's they're not brown at all. But again, if you get your eggs a little brown, who cares? But really eggs, they're fluffiest when they're cooked low and slow. So no higher than medium, I would suggest. And I like to stir them up with a spatula. Once the eggs are almost all the way through cooking for these breakfast burritos, I decided to add in a little bit of hot sauce. My husband really likes this Valentina. So I'm going to add some of the hot sauce, a couple spoonfuls of the salsa, and then some of the shredded cheese. And I'm going to stir that and then pull that off the heat. And with scrambled eggs, it's okay if they look a little bit um, undercooked. They'll continue to cook as they sit. Now to assemble the burritos. I have this tortilla that I popped in the microwave for about 10 seconds to warm it up. I'm going to add in my scrambled egg mixture. Next, I'm going to add a couple slices of the pre-cooked bacon. I cooked this in the microwave according to the package instructions. And sometimes if I'm feeling really lazy in the morning, I'll just use the bacon pieces like from Sam's Club and put them into the scrambled eggs while they're cooking and just use that as my meat. I'm also going to add some of the Baja Chipotle sauce and then some shredded cheese, and then I'm going to roll it up. And that's it for the burrito. Now, it's delicious just like this, but every once in a while, I will wash the skillet out that I use to cook these scrambled eggs in. I'll add a little bit of butter, and then on medium heat, I'll cook the burrito for a couple minutes on each side until it's golden brown and crispy. It's so good that way. Now, these are great for meal prep. You can make several of these at one time, like on a Sunday, and have them for work in the morning or for school. They're really quick and easy. You can also freeze these. Here's the finished plates. I just served this up with some fruit. This was super, super yummy. Next, I tried a new recipe for a Denver omelet breakfast bake. I'll link that recipe in the description box below. Here are the ingredients that you'll need for that. Eggs, half and half, some shredded cheddar cheese, 
a diced onion, some salt and pepper, some diced or cubed ham. I have this ham steak. I'm just going to cut it up into small pieces myself. And then you'll need some diced bell pepper. I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. In this bowl, I'm going to add in my eggs, add in the half and half, the salt and pepper, and then I'm going to whisk that together until it's really well combined. Now, if you don't have half and half on hand or you don't wanna use it, you could really use any kind of milk product, just regular milk, almond milk, cream, whatever you've got on hand. Next, I'm going to add my diced ham, diced onion, and diced bell pepper. Then my shredded cheese. I'm going to whisk that together really well until it's combined and then I'm going to pour this into a greased casserole dish. The recipe suggested using a 9 by 9 which is what I used. This is going to go into the oven. Now the recipe said to bake this for about 25 minutes. This for me took much longer than 25 minutes. It honestly took about 45 minutes before it was cooked all the way. You just want to cook it until it starts to get golden brown and the eggs are cooked pretty much all the way through. They will set up a little bit as it sits. And here is the finished plate. So I served up some of the bake with some fresh grapes. And then we did end up eating this with some ketchup and my husband added some hot sauce. I really enjoyed this. I mean, if you like a Denver omelet, it's basically the same thing. I will say though, for my personal preference, I think the next time I make this, I will cook the onions and bell peppers just a little bit before I add them in. Again, just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. I just prefer my onions and bell peppers to be a little bit more soft, but this was delicious. This was also great for us to make because we had leftovers for breakfast for a couple days so all I had to do was pop this in the microwave and heat it up and we had a quick and easy breakfast Next, I'm going to make a smoothie. Now, I didn't follow an exact recipe this morning. I just had a few things on hand that I wanted to use up. So I'll show you how I made these. I didn't follow a specific recipe, but I just wanted to share this idea with you. If you're not a big breakfast person, smoothies are great to make. They're things that you can take with you, whether you're out running errands or going to work or school or, you know, watching after the kiddos. And, you know, with the fresh vegetables and fruits, you're getting vitamins and nutrients. And with the fruits, you're getting natural sugar so that can kind of give you a little natural boost in the morning. So again, use whatever you've got on hand, whatever you prefer. This is just what I'm using today. I have this package of frozen blueberries. There's not a lot left in this pack, so I want to use it up. I also have some strawberries that I'd washed and cut up. They were in my refrigerator. I do that as like meal prep so that we can have it for breakfast or snacking. I have these left and I don't want them to go bad, so I'm going to use those. I have this banana that is almost to the point of being overripe, which will be perfect for the smoothie. As you can see, we have just a little bit of orange juice left in this bottle, so I'm going to use that. And then for the orange juice, for my husband and I personally, orange juice a lot of times can be just a little too acidic for our taste. So I'm going to add in just a little bit of honey to kind of counteract that. But if your fruit is sweet enough, you, you don't need the extra honey. Um, if you do want to add a little bit of sweetener, you can also add maple syrup or sugar. And for the liquid in your smoothie, you can use any kind of juice, really. You can use milk. You can use almond milk. I use that a lot. So like I said, these are totally customizable. Just use whatever you've got on hand or whatever you all like. To make this smoothie, I'm using this Ninja Blender. I got this years and years ago on QVC and I love it, it's awesome. You can use a regular blender, you can also use an immersion blender. I like to add my liquid into um, the blender or these little cups uh, that come with the Ninja. I like to add the liquid first. Then it doesn't really matter the order that you add things, so I'm just going to add the strawberries, the blueberries, and the banana. Then I'm going to place the lid on that. I'm going to um, pulse that. This Ninja has a single serve option when you're using these cups. So I did that until the fruit was all broken down and then I decided to add in just a couple ice cubes. If you're using all frozen fruit, you don't really have to add the ice cubes. Um, and then I'm going to add my little bit of honey, place that back on, whiz it for just a couple seconds and then that's it, the smoothie will be done. All right, here is the finished smoothie. Now, like I said, this is totally customizable. Add whatever you like or whatever you've got on hand. Now, for my husband, I a lot of times will make the smoothies like this, but I'll add in some protein powder for him, like when he's come home from the gym. You can also add peanut butter, you can add yogurt, chia seeds, uh, oats, 
You can add kale, spinach, and you can use whatever fruit or combination of fruit that you want. So like I said earlier, this is a great breakfast if you're someone who's not a big breakfast person. You don't want to necessarily eat something, but you still want to give your body, you know, something to give you energy and vitamins and nutrients, especially, you know, after the long fast that you've had since dinner the night before. And if you are a breakfast eater, smoothies are great to go along with your breakfast. Again, they, they just give you added vitamins and nutrients. So this is really yummy and I love that you can make smoothies using really whatever you've got on hand. It's a great way to use up leftover fruits and vegetables. Finally, I'm making ham, egg, and cheese sliders. I first made these a couple months ago when my younger sister and brother were spending the night with us. I made us uh, them for breakfast and we all loved them. They were so good. So here's what you'll need to make them. You'll need some Hawaiian rolls. If you're not a Hawaiian roll lover, you can use slider buns or just dinner rolls. You'll need some eggs, cheese. Use the cheese of your choice. Pepper Jack would be good. Cheddar cheese would be good. I have some Colby Jack on hand, so that's what I'm going to use up. I'm going to use ham for this particular recipe. This would also be great with bacon or sausage. That would also be delicious. In fact, I wanna make these again and make them with the sausage because if you're familiar with crystals, crystals has, I think they call them sunrise, sunrise or something like that. And I think these would be like identical to those. So that would be delicious. And then for the like little sauce that we're gonna put on the rolls, you're going to need some butter, some yellow mustard and brown sugar. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I sliced my rolls in half horizontally and I've added them to a greased baking dish for my husband and I this morning. I just made four sliders, two for each of us. But of course, I'll list the full recipe in the description box below. Just use as many ingredients as what you need for your size family. To the sliders, I'm going to add my ham. And then I've cooked up some scrambled eggs. I made them the same way that I made them for um, my breakfast burritos. Once I've added my eggs, I'm going to add in my cheese and then I'm going to add my top layer of rolls and I'm going to set that to the side for a minute. In this bowl, I've placed my butter. I popped this into the microwave for about 20 or 30 seconds until it was melted. I'm going to add in the yellow mustard and the brown sugar, stir that until it's well combined and then I'm going to brush that over the rolls. The recipe doesn't say to do this, but I decided to cover this with some foil, and then this is going to go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until your cheese is melted. Here are those sliders out of the oven. And here's my plate. So I have a couple of the sliders and some orange smiles. This was delicious. These little sliders are so, so yummy. The little bit of brown sugar and the butter, it doesn't make these overly sweet. It gives it just a tiny little bit of sweetness. And like I said, I definitely want to make these again with sausage. I'll also try them with bacon, but they're also really, really yummy with the ham. So I recommend you give this recipe and the other recipes I've shared with you in this video today a try. I think that you will really enjoy them. If you like today's video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.